Well, it is a beautiful day to get out there on the fairways and greens and fittingly this Sunday you can catch up on all the local golf coverage and news you need with the launch of a brand new TV show over on the CW. Joining us today to tell us even more all about Golf News RI TV is co-founder and CEO of Golf News RI, fittingly, Joe Calabro. Good morning. Good morning, Brendan. Thanks for having me. It's today. a great pleasure to have you here. First of all, did you see my swing from? It was, a good, it was a good swing. <laughs> you were under a lot of pressure. I was. Finally, someone <laughs> siding with me, but I have great respect for those uh, who golf. I know it takes a tremendous amount of discipline. For you though, Joe, before we get into really the rich, vibrant golfing history and the golfing community here in the Ocean State, let's talk about, you know, Golf News RI, kind of how you got this thing started, because it started online, right? Yeah, so I launched it in April of 2020 after leaving a previous uh, media job, uh, and there was a middle of a pandemic, uh, so it might, be the, it might have been the dumbest entrepreneurship, <laughs> entrepreneurship <laughs> idea ever. <laughs> to do that, but I launched in 2020 uh, as the, for to be able to cover golf like no one's ever covered golf before in the state with digital podcasts and everything else. So now, just starting our fifth year here, uh, I was really looking at ways to, to take this to the next level because you can't stay the same. And this TV opportunity came around and we're excited to take our content to the television and the first show airs on Sunday, like you mentioned. Outstanding, yeah, you really do need to uh, diversify a little bit, grow, and this is the next logical extension of that, which I think is great. What can, you know, viewers expect? I, I understand interviews, coverage, everything. It's really a one-stop shop for golf in Rhode Island. Yeah, I mean, the goal is to build this TV show into a must-watch program for golfers, whether you're watching it live with us, live, quote unquote, or if you're watching it on DVR or you're watching it on YouTube a couple days after, whatever it may be, we want to bring you the news, the highlights um, eventually. And you know, again, we're building it, so it takes some time. Um, but we're trying to make this a must watch, must watch program. Well, you've already done a great state. job kind of getting it off the ground digitally. And like I said, the next logical step right here, which is awesome for you though, Joe, are you, do you go way back with the game of golf? I have such vivid memories, memories being at the driving range with my grandfather, my great uncle. I loved it. Was it that way for you growing up? Uh, well, did you uh, find the game later? <laughs> well, what happened was, I, <laughs> Take I, us I, back. I, I realized that I wasn't going to be good at any other sport and golf <laughs> is the only sport you can play until you're however old. Uh, you're right, you're not going to play ice hockey, I never learned how to skate, stunk at basketball, you know, so I was like, well, I guess golf is the only sport, so my dad and my family all play golf, uh, so that was part of it, and obviously, you know, Tiger Woods was a huge influence for me, hence the I love this. Tiger Woods head cover, Tiger head cover, um, so between all of that, I, then I just got into playing golf, and I play it, you know, for fun mostly, but uh, sometimes I compete as well. Everyone, we're all competitors. Love it. <laughs> um, and so that's where we are, but now I'm covering golf. It's almost more fun than playing golf. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> and yeah, they can critique and have some fun and really get in there with the game. But quickly here, before we wrap up, there really is a rich golfing community and a vibrant history of golf in the Ocean State, isn't there? Oh, it's huge, and, it's, and the game is only growing. Um, the clubs are all have waiting lists, and this is a huge summer for Island with the Senior Open coming to Newport Country Club. It's obviously a historic place in and of itself. And uh, hopefully we get a couple of local guys in the field, the Andrade, uh, Quigley. Rumors are that Faxon might try to play. Um, so it should be a fun summer in Rhode Island and we're looking to cover it all on Golf News RI TV. First episode Sunday with Rhode Island legend Ed Kirby. Tremendous, no relation to Brendan Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> but if you need anyone to get out there and embarrass themselves at the range, I'm your man. All kidding aside, Joe, good luck with this and thanks for being with us today. Thanks so much for having me. I feel like I should have been your caddy. He's holding two golf clubs while being interviewed. Tremendous. Golf News RI TV airs this Sunday, as Joe said, on the CW at 1030 and we'll have more info at roadshow.com. That head down.